What is up you guys and welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title of today's video, we are going to be discussing my long awaited skincare routine. So this has been one of my most requested videos. I can't tell you guys how many DMs I get asking about face products, what's good for what type of skin, what do I use, what's my favorite brand, all of that will be covered today. I filmed my skincare routine. It was my first video on my YouTube channel literally a year ago. So I figured it was time to update it. My skincare routine has since evolved significantly. I'm using like completely different products. None of it is the same. This is going to be a lengthy video. I'm not gonna lie to you. I am a serious product junkie, but what I have here works best for me. I love it. It's what I keep going back towards, what I gravitate towards, and what I feel gives me personally the best results. So quick disclaimer before we get started, I am not a dermatologist. I am not an esthetician. I am none of those things. All the products I'm gonna to discuss today work for me personally. I am not recommending anything to any of you. I'm just telling you what works best for me, how I like to use it, and why I like it. So if you guys are interested in seeing all of my skincare favorites and kind of my everyday skincare routine, then grab your snack, grab your wine, grab your coffee, whatever you need to get through the next 30 minutes of me yapping about skincare, and let's get started. So I really want to talk about balancing your skin before we get started. So a while back, I suffered from incredibly oily, greasy, gross skin. I was having trouble with foundation breaking up on me, powders not lasting, it was just a mess. All of my makeup would fade away, it would not sit on my skin nicely, I had huge pores, I was suffering from some breakouts on my forehead and my cheeks, and it was just not what I wanted. So I went into Ulta and I was searching for a foundation and I asked one of the sales girls, what's the best foundation for super, super oily skin? I need something that lasts really long time, full coverage and matte. She's like, well, obviously we have foundations that do different things, but you could probably wear any foundation in this store if you wanted. And I was like, no, 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 girl, you don't understand. Like I am a grease ball. And she was like, well, have you ever had your skin analyzed before? And I was like, no, I've never had my skin analyzed before. And she's like, well, if you balance out your skin, I guarantee you, you could wear any foundation in this store that you wanted. And I was like, please, you're crazy. So that day I left Ulta with no new foundation and decided to make an appointment at a local spa. So I asked for a facial like I normally would and then I asked to also get my skin analyzed. A licensed esthetician or dermatologist can do this for you as well. They basically look at your skin under serious microscopes and very bright lights. You can see literally everything. It's kind of gross and I hate it. But she basically assessed my skin and looked at my texture asked what products I had been using, all of the, like the whole nine. What I learned from that experience is that I was using a ton of oil control, acne control, really harsh drying products because I was trying to combat really oily skin. And she said, I'm actually doing more damage. You should be doing the reverse effect. So if you have very, very oily skin, they recommend that you use pretty moisturizing products because that way you can teach your skin that you're putting on enough moisture, your skin doesn't need to go into overdrive producing more. So since then, I have completely revamped my skincare routine. Now I can literally wear any foundation I want and half the time I don't even have to set my foundations. I feel like once you get a really great understanding of what your skin needs, then you can choose the perfect products and you'll get the results that you're actually looking for. It took me a very, very long time to get to this point. It was a lot of trial and error, but if you're struggling, I highly recommend that you go see someone. They can definitely recommend some things to you and you will not regret it. You are investing in your skin. This is a long-term thing. It's with you for the rest of your life. I recommend really great sun care, seeking help if you need it, and definitely, definitely doing your research at all times. All right, so first things first, we're going to start with my day skincare routine. My day, my like, from the morning throughout the day skincare routine. So I actually, please hold judgment till I explain, I actually do not really wash my face in the morning. I know people are going to come at me hard for that. I know, I know, I know, I know. But there is a reason I do this. So at night, I make sure I wash my face really, really good. And we will get to that in a second. 
but I do not wash my face in the morning because it is clean and I use a toner. All I do is just rinse my face with some water, pat it dry with the towel, and then I will go in with this Ola Henriksen Balancing Force Oil Control Toner. So again, I said I use a lot of products that are balancing, things that aren't going to irritate my skin too much, dry it out, create more oil, that kind of thing. I basically just put this on a cotton round and just swipe it all over my face and I feel super, super clean. It smells really good. It does have a little bit of a tingle to it, so I think it works. I, yes, am the type of person that my skincare needs to like burn or tingle or it needs to do something so that I know it's working. And this for me is a necessity in the morning. It kind of wakes me up, it makes me feel good. And I especially love this product too if I'm suffering from a little bit of a breakout. Like I still do obviously get breakouts. I am human, I am made up of the same genetic material you are. We suffer from acne. It'd be like that sometimes. I will take a cotton round and just soak it in this and just place it on my breakout and I will just leave it there for like two to three minutes while I brush my teeth, brush my hair, that kind of thing. And this will dry it right up without drying out my entire face. So after I do a gentle exfoliation and clean any residual dirt off my face, it is now time to moisturize and go in with our serums and all of those things. So this is not a need. This is not a necessity. This is just like a nice to have if you can splurge on it. This is the Caudalie Vino Perfect Essence. So I will go in with just a little, like four drops maybe in the palm of my hand and just kind of pat this into my skin after I go in with my toner. This really just helps your products to sink in a little bit better. Honestly, like I said, not a necessity. I really like it. I think it works really, really well. You can use this on a cotton round as well, or you can just go in with clean fingers. That is one thing I, oh my God, I didn't even say this yet. If you're applying skincare, make sure you have clean hands. Do not give yourself more breakouts because you're touching your face and swirling things into your face with a bunch of product or weird shit on your hands. Like wash your hands before you do all of this, please. I apply this to my face and neck, avoiding my eye area, of course. After I apply my essence, I like to go ahead and apply a serum. So this is the Tatcha Violet C Brightening Serum. I like a lot of brightening products because this makes my face really glowy. If I don't wear makeup that day, it makes my skin look really fresh and kind of shiny, but not dewy. It's, it's not like sticky or dewy, it just, makes your face look really, really healthy. So I just use one pump of this and I just massage it into my skin. And I actually drag this product down my neck as well. After I've applied a serum, while that soaks in, I will go in with an eye cream. And this is the Ola Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream, Vitamin C and Collagen Boosted. I love this product because it looks so great under any concealer or makeup that you put this under. This is super moisturizing and it's kind of a yellowy product but it really just sits so nicely on top of makeup and I think it really does brighten the under eye area. So I just tap this in using my ring finger because that's the least amount of pressure you can apply. I just tap this into my inner corners where I experience the most darkness and then just bring it down and then whatever's left on my finger, I will just tap onto my eyelid as well to get rid of any discoloration there. This stuff is super, super great. It's kind of expensive for such a little jar. I think it's like $38. But honestly, I'm not kidding. A little bit of this goes such a long way. This is gonna last you forever. Now, once all of that has been applied to the skin, I give it a second to kind of sink in. I'll brush my teeth or do something else while it kind of soaks in. And then I will go on top with a moisturizer. This is my favorite moisturizer. This is the Drunk Elephant Lala Retro Whipped Cream. It's a moisturizer whipped into an airy blend of six African oils to deliver lock-in intense moisture. So I love this. First of all, the packaging is so fun. You literally just push this and the product comes out. This is, uh, uh, forewarning, this is a pretty thick moisturizer, I'm not gonna lie to you, but it doesn't leave my skin like greasy. It soaks in pretty quickly. I can get away with wearing this under makeup, all that kind of stuff. It sits beautifully. Drunk Elephant is very, very pricey. I'm not going to lie to you, but I think it is 110% worth it. Again, this is your skin and products you're gonna use every day. You really, really wanna invest in something that's going to work very well for you. Moving on to my nighttime routine. After I remove all of my makeup, I like to go in with a cleanser to get any residual mascara, anything that might be a little bit left over. So my favorite cleanser to use is this Ole Henriksen Find Your Balance Oil Control Cleanser. 
So this I will not use to just completely remove all of my makeup. I will go in with a balm or a wipe, something like that, depending on how much makeup I am wearing. And I cannot emphasize that enough. You need to take your makeup off. Like, girl, I've been there where it's 2 a.m. and I've had like 18 glasses of champagne and I just wanna fall face first into bed. But you should really, really take your makeup off. Super important and then if you're gonna do anything, at least run a little bit of face wash over your face and just get all that dirt and grime. I love this, it smells super pepperminty. It does a great job of removing any dirt and again, it's kind of that balancing oil control. Um, so it is a little bit more drying, that's why I will only wash my face at night using this product. At nighttime, I do like to go in with a toner yet again, but I use a different one at night. Like I said, I know I'm a super product junkie. This is the Ola Henriksen Transform Glow Dark Spot Treatener. So this is high potency AHAs. And the reason why I use this at night is because AHAs, when you place them on your skin, you're more likely to get a sunburn, you're more susceptible to the sun. So you definitely wanna be using anything with severe AHAs late at night. You do not wanna use this during the day. So this really just goes in and targets any dark spots, any wrinkles, fine lines, anything like that. And it just really, really evens out your complexion and makes everything look so good. I would definitely test this out like on a small patch of your face or your neck before you go ham with this because it does have a lot of AHAs in there. Some people are very, very sensitive. And like I said, if you're using a product like this, really make sure that you're using sun protection if you're outside. I think I've been using it for like three or four months now. And I think this is a great, great investment. I know two toners is super excessive. I get that. Trust me. I know. So after I tone, I go in with my essence again. I use this morning and night just to make everything sink in. You know the drill. And then I will go in with my favorite, favorite serum. You guys, this has been the biggest, the biggest game changer for me. This is the Drunk Elephant TLC Framboose Glycolic Night Serum. This has just done like crazy things to my texture. I'm not being dramatic. This basically improves the look of your texture and pores, wrinkles, fine lines, anything crazy like that. And it just makes you look so luminous and glowy and healthy. My makeup lays substantially better on my skin after using this. The first few days you use this, it will burn and it will tingle. Once you use it consistently for about a week or so, this definitely does not hurt or it does not do any funny tingling, anything like that. It's really not that bad. You just have to get used to it. So if you're nervous about that, I would work up to it. I would start maybe twice a week with this until you're comfortable and you feel like you have a good tolerance and then you can go to using this every night. At nighttime, I also apply my Banana Bright Eye Cream. Nothing crazy there, we already talked about that. And then last but not least, I will go in with my night cream. This is the Origins High Potency Night Amends, and this is oil-free resurfacing cream with fruit-derived AHAs. Again, with the AHAs, I like very glowy, luminous products. This just makes my skin, it looks so good. I wake up in the morning and this is completely sunk into my skin. This is an incredibly thin cream. It's not like most night creams. It's actually so much thinner than this. It has kind of a watery texture, but again, you wanna use this strictly at night because of the AHAs. It's sun sensitivity, it's a mess. Don't even put yourself through that. So I just apply this nightly to my face and my neck and it soaks in really, really quickly. The combination of these two I find is just like, so before I conclude this video, I kind of wanted to talk about some of my favorite face masks and maybe like specialty products that I don't use every single day but are still a huge part of my skincare routine. So the first thing I want to talk about is this Mario Badesco drying lotion. I've mentioned this in a monthly favorites, I think, on my channel already but I really, really love this as a spot treatment. Like I said, I'm trying to avoid using a lot of acne face masks, anything like that. It just dries out my skin so bad. It's so harsh. It's unnecessary for your entire face. I'm a very big believer in you only treat the areas that need to be treated. So this I use very sparingly on just blemishes. If I feel one coming on, this will dry it up right away. This is really, really great. You can get this at Ulta and it actually also comes in a plastic bottle for travel if you don't wanna use the glass. I used to be the biggest face mask junkie. Like I had a Tupperware bin of all the face masks I love to use and like a drawer full. 
but I've kind of narrowed down my collection to what I really, really love and I know what works for me and I have implemented them into my routine religiously and I think I'm getting the best results doing it that way rather than using a million different products. Sometimes simple is best. So what I use every Sunday night instead of going in with this night serum and all of that, I use the TLC Sucurai Baby Facial from Drunk Elephant. So this basically exfoliates and gets rid of any dead skin cells you may have on your face. And this stuff is really, really strong. So you really can only use it once a week. I would not recommend using it more. And this shit, along with this stuff, this burns. The, I'm not kidding, this hurts your face. Like, it burns. But it clears everything up. It gets deep into your pores. It really, really does a great job of exfoliating. I just apply this to clean skin and even layer and I leave it on for about 20 minutes. And then I like to follow up with this Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask. So when I'm doing this, I will only apply an eye cream and then I will go on with this as my moisturizer and serum. So this looks disgusting and beat to hell because it is beat to hell. I use this all the time. I got my mom to like this. This is just like such a nice, thick, moisturizing face mask. It works really well. I mean, everybody's talking about it. You can get this at Sephora. I really just like this after doing such a deep clean. I find my skin really needs to be rehydrated. You gotta add that moisture back in and I love this. For that, I sleep with this on. The next morning, I will just use a little bit of toner and continue on with my skincare routine like normal. So I have this Ola Henriksen Balance the Cold Plunge Pore Mask. I really love this guy for like special events or I use this before I apply my makeup. I find that this really just like tightens all your pores and it just smooths everything out really, really nicely. This lays super well under makeup. I use this on clean skin and then I will go in with my serums and my moisturizers like normal and then apply makeup and it just looks so smooth and flawless. It has like that cold tingly sensation. It's a really cool like teal color and I will just concentrate this normally into my T-zone where I have the majority of my pores and kind of my problem area and I leave this on for about 15 minutes, wash it off with cold water and you just feel so awake and refreshed. On the lines of kind of a tingly pore refining mask, I have this Lush mask called Mask of Magnanimity. Try saying that 10 times quick. So basically this is also a very gentle exfoliator. It smells minty, it smells like toothpaste to me, but I really, really like this. It's very cooling and tingling. This is gentle enough that I use it two to three times a week, dependent on how I'm feeling, and I kind of alternate with the next mask that I'm gonna show you. So you just massage this on the clean skin to kind of activate the exfoliation, and then you leave it on for about five to 10 minutes, wash it off, and carry on with your skincare routine as usual. I love to use this in the evening or in the morning if I need to just kind of wake up, again, refresh my skin. I will kind of use these two interchangeably dependent on how I'm feeling. But lately I've really been leaning towards this one. It just makes me feel better that it's kind of natural and that it doesn't have any harsh chemicals in it or anything crazy like that. The last mask that I am obsessed with, I actually just talked about this in my March favorite. So if you did not see that video, I will link it down below. Be sure to check it out. This is the Lush Brazen Honey Face Mask and this is what it looks like. We talked about it. It smells like bee pollen. Smell is not a 10 out of 10 for me, but I can get over it because I love this mask so much. This I will use probably three times a week at night. I will apply this to a clean skin, wash it off, go about my usual skincare routine, and the next morning I wake up, there's no redness, there's no dullness. This gently exfoliates, but it brightens so much. It gets rid of any redness, anything that was looking a little wonky or a little bit sensitive on my skin, this takes care of it. It is so gentle and I love it. Ooh, that was a lot. I know we just covered a ton of products, so I will be sure to link everything down in the description below, so that way you can reference all of my favorite products. I hope you really, really enjoyed this video. Remember, if you take anything away from this, take good care of your skin. It's with you forever. It makes such a difference in makeup application and just your overall health. Drink plenty of waters. Don't use anything that hurts your skin. If you wanna try out any of these products, I would recommend consulting 
your esthetician or a dermatologist to make sure that these are safe for you. These are just the things that work best for me and my system. I know it's a little bit expensive, but your skin is definitely an investment that you should be taking care of. Last but not least, please, 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 for the love of God, please do not forget to wash your makeup brushes and clean your beauty blenders or makeup sponges. That's where the majority of bacteria and a lot of acne can stem from. It's just a disgusting issue and you should be cleaning your brushes about once a month. And your beauty blender, I usually clean mine after every third application or so. It does harbor a little bit of bacteria as much as we don't wanna talk about it and it's disgusting. It does, it's just a fact of life. Just keep in mind that you are using all of these tools on your face, so you don't wanna transfer any bacteria or germs. Make sure you're being super hygienic if you're using products on clients. Make sure you're cleaning everything. You really just want to be so careful. You can get eye infections, you can get breakouts. So makeup hygiene in addition to your skincare is equally as important. You don't want to be using dirty applicators or anything like that. If you are treating a breakout or anything on your face, make sure you're using a new cotton swab, cotton pad, Q-tip, whatever you're using each time that you're treating that contaminated, infected area. I could literally sit here and talk about skincare and hygiene and all of that for the next three years of my life but I think this video is definitely long enough, so I hope you guys all really, really enjoyed learning about my skincare routine and seeing some of my favorite products. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you have not already. Thank you guys so very much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.